Hey everyone, it's Roman Rich. It's a beautiful day out here in East St. Louis. And uh, last week I brought you a couple bridges, uh, one on YouTube, another one on my Facebook stuff. Uh, it was the Chain of Rocks Bridge and the uh, McKinley Bridge. This week we're still in St. Louis and we're looking at the MacArthur Bridge, or as some people would refer to it, the Municipal Free Bridge. And I'm buzzing around on my one wheel again, like always, my new favorite toy. And uh, this is a rather abandoned piece of uh, road history. Carried Route 66 for a little while. It uh, also carried rail traffic, horse and buggy, and uh, some trolleys. People used to use it uh, for pedestrian use, uh, getting back and forth from St. Louis to East St. Louis, back when uh, both towns were industrial competitors. I'm going to top off here. Let's see. Okay. And uh, that's what you're looking at. That's the MacArthur Bridge, at least a section of it. I'm on the East St. Louis side, and this is pretty much the only side that's uh, able to be accessible anymore. The western approach is gated off, and shortly after the first set of uh, truss structures, the road deck has been removed all the way up to the river. So uh, the Terminal Railroad Association removed the deck, uh, finalized it, I believe, early this year or late last year, and uh, so it's no more. There's no more highway deck. If you want to see the bridge up close and personal over the river, you're going to have to hop on a train from Amtrak and see it that way because the, uh, the bridge is still in use for railroad traffic. But the east side offers us a great glimpse of uh, history and what the bridge used to be like. It's just a magnificent, magnificent structure and one of my favorite bridges of all time. And I'm not going to take you all the way to the end, but uh, I am going to give you a little little glimpse. I got a couple of friends here with me, Carl and Bethany, and uh, got them out here exploring the bridge as well. So this is like one of the first major structures you'll see as you're heading west. Say hi. <laughs> and uh, you can see the sidewalks, how deteriorated they are. Gone in some places. I wouldn't recommend getting up on there. But just take a look at the industrial aspects of this bridge. I mean, it's just totally representative of what this country was like during the turn of the century. And beautiful bridge. Recommend you guys come out to see it. If you do come out here, just be careful. It's in East St. Louis, which isn't a great part of town. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it, you still run a risk of having your vehicle broken into. So. To prevent that from happening, I would suggest coming out here as early as you possibly can, say 8.39. Anytime before noon, I would say is safe to come out here. There's not that many people up and moving about. Up ahead, about probably an eighth of a mile, you'll see a fence. And that is the end of the road, so to speak. That's the end of this bridge. They uh, started tearing off the deck at that point. I guess over the course of six, seven years, they... Uh, made it a mission to get rid of this uh, automobile deck so that they wouldn't have to uh, ward off anybody trying to repurpose this bridge. And it's kind of disappointing because uh, it's such a beautiful structure and uh, now it's lost forever. Unlike a lot of our bridges that we still have a chance to save, such as the uh, Times Beach Bridge and the Gasconade River Bridge, both Route 66 bridges just like this one. Uh, those can be saved. Uh, if you're interested in contributing, you can go and, and check out the GoFundMe page for the Merrimack River Bridge at Times Beach. There's a train over there. At one point, these bridges, they have a confluence, I don't know, probably about a mile away. And then this bridge turns into a double-decker bridge, uh, or at least it used to, where the automobile deck was up above the rail deck, which is down below. The bridge was completed around 1917. The rail deck, I don't think, saw any traffic whatsoever for auto, for, uh, for trains until the late 20s. Uh, there was a dispute over the bridge. The Terminal Railroad Association opposed this bridge being built, and the city of St. Louis went forth with it anyway. As it turns out, though, ironically, the Terminal Railroad Association traded the Eads Bridge for this bridge because it provided much better clearance for the newer, more modern rail cars. Um, 
One last bit of information, if you're, at, if you're wondering when this bridge uh, was discontinued for a highway bridge, 1981. 1981, they closed it up. They just couldn't afford to maintain it any further. And uh, they weren't getting enough tolls because it was a toll bridge. So they shut it down. Anyway, guys, here from East St. Louis, I'm Roman Rich. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share my videos, like my page. And if you want to be friends on Facebook, hit me up at Roman Rich or Hooked on Route 66. I'll see you guys down the road. Don't forget, go your own way.